Hello everybody, I'm Mr. Nitro and welcome to part 40 of Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. So we're back to playing as Sora because we have to get this platinum trophy. And it's gonna take me a really long time because I have less than half the trophies. I'm like 48%, but that still counts. So we're starting off on here because this is probably gonna be the most irritating part. Not the hardest, just the most irritating, you know? It counts. I'm actually surprised that that worked, like, at all. But here goes nothing anyway. So basically, after this it's one long grind because I have to level them up, them, to level up both Riku and Sora to 99. I have to get all of the cards that's available in Sora's story, which is a lot, so that's going to be fun. Uh, I'm not really looking forward to it. I also have to get all of his slights. I have to get all of Riku's attack bonuses, but those should happen as I level him up, so that's fine. Uh, but the thing is, I had to do like three hours- oh my god, stop it. I had to do like three hours before this because you can't actually get everything in this game unless you've finished the 358 over two days movie and looked through all the reports as well. So that was annoying. I didn't know that at the beginning. It unlocks some new cards for you. Wait, does it count if I let them go past me? I don't think it does, so that's not yeah. great. How am I supposed to get this damn high score? I have to get like 150. This only- okay, that counts as three. That's barely worth it. Everything's speeding up. Don't like, don't like, don't like, don't like! I'm not actually going to be showing the majority of this stuff. I died, damn it. I'm not going to be showing the majority of this stuff because there's going to be a lot of this and there's going to be a lot of grinding and it's probably going to take me like 30 odd hours. Oh, did I mention I have to go through someone's story again and like just not die because I need the undefeated trophy and I didn't do it here. And like, I'm not really looking forward to it. But I've got to do it, because I wouldn't be able to live with myself. <laughs> nah, I just wouldn't be uh, particularly happy if I had something at less than 100% when I was perfectly capable of doing it, so... Yeah. We have a long way to go. We have a lot to do. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put, like, the time that it took me to get each section. And we're going to add it up, and we're going to go, this was a waste of my life.
thanks for watching everyone. There's just a few points that I think I need to make pretty clear because I didn't know them. I had to Google them after I'd run into an issue. And nobody wants to spend more than 35 hours on it. Least of all me. So I don't want anyone else to have to do that. So if you're going to do it, listen up. White mushrooms will not give you their enemy card unless you kill them with warp. You can't pacify them, they just won't drop it. And if you need to farm the enemy card, you can do it in Atlantica really easily. Uh, to get Pluto, you need to um, have like no cards left in your deck during a battle. So my advice, just put like maybe three premium cards in your deck and use a couple and he'll show up. He'll show up and then you can just end the fight or run away, I don't it doesn't matter. Uh, when you're training with Riku, I found that the easiest way to do that was in Castle Oblivion, provided you don't die, because I did that quite a bit. Early days, I didn't have a lot of health, and I was still figuring out what I was doing. Which is, you get into dark mode as early as possible, you use the Lexius card, and if you jump and attack, Riku will do a spinning attack that counts as a finisher, so... You have a decent chance of insta-killing a whole bunch of enemies if you hit them. Back to Sora, uh, Kita rewards. You need it for Treasure Hunter. You need it for certain cards from the 358 over 2 days set, I guess. Uh, it's easiest to get in, the, in Destiny Islands, I found. And Google said as well. It's not necessarily going to show up quite all that early, but you're yeah, much better off looking in Destiny Islands. And I think the last thing I have to say is, expert deck builder, you have to edit a deck like 500 times, right? And it's awful. It's not because it's hard, but because it just takes forever. So, so you're not wasting your time. You have to add one or remove one, but adding is faster and then back out until it says like edit deck, right? You need that option. You don't have to go back any further, but you have, but you can't just add 500 cards in one go, even though I think that's impossible. You just, it's the edit, the fact that you've edited it counts as one, right? And you can't add and then remove and then back out because that doesn't count as editing. So if you want to be safe, Add one card and back out, and add another card and back out, and eventually, like 15 minutes later, if you're me, you'll finally get that trophy. So yeah, that's that's just the few things that I really wish I'd known and didn't have to look up. So yeah, good luck if you're after this trophy because it is a grind. It's a real chore. Uh, so yeah. If you enjoyed this video, let me know. Next game really is 358 over two days. And that's on the DS because the PS4 is only a movie. Thanks, game. Or should I not call you that? So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, let me know and I'll see you then. Bye.